Tampa Bay Forward now, there's an intersection in St. Pete that seems to get more dangerous every year. It's the intersection of 5th Avenue and North 20th Street. According to city officials, there have been 18 accidents at that spot this year alone. So tonight, we're talking with a person who is recovering from a recent crash there. And reporter Eric Waxler is helping her get an answer about when a fix may come. This is what Kristen Massey's Honda looked like after she tried to cross Fifth Avenue North in St. Petersburg. I remember my car being spun around and heading toward a pedestrian sign and just remember all of the airbags going off and the ringing in my ears. Kristen says she was T-boned by an SUV she couldn't see because it was blocked by a line of cars. She and her son were bruised, but neither was seriously injured. Either was the driver that hit her. Christian soon found out crashes at 20th Street and 5th Avenue North happen far too often. According to the St. Petersburg Police Department, the number of crashes went from four in 2019 to seven last year, but it's already up to 18 so far in 2021. I think part of the problem is the left-hand lane, which is goes straight, backs up because the traffic is trying to get onto 275 North during the busy times of the day. City officials tell ABC Action News they haven't had any complaints about this intersection, but intersections with the highest crash numbers are those with higher speeds and higher volumes like this one. The Florida Department of Transportation is slated to work on improvements here in the next two to three years. They have reached out to the city to coordinate adding safety measures. They say the intersection doesn't have any obvious deficiencies, but reducing speed could help. Kristen was ticketed in the crash, but says she'd like to see a turn arrow added. Whatever is done, she says it needs to be soon. I think the city of St. Pete and the state of Florida owes its citizens and its tourists a little bit more than to say it's going to be a few years before we can make this a safe intersection. In St. Petersburg, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.